Assalamu alaikum class 5. So today we're going to continue the discussion of the conversion of fractions to decimals. So yesterday we I gave you some examples on how to convert fractions to decimal. But my givens yesterday are the denominator is in the base of 10, which means that the denominator is either 10, uh, 100, or 1000. Example. The 2 and 5 over 1,000. This given is in question number 4 of your book, page 66. So if you notice, this is a mixed fraction and it has the whole number and the proper fraction. So your whole number here is 2 and your proper fraction is 5 over 1,000. So the 2, we are going to write this one in the whole number or the number before the decimal point and the number after the decimal point, which is your decimal part, will be the numerator or your or this 5 here. But this 5 must be in the 1000s place or in the 1000s place. So if I'm going to have that into the place value chart, so I'm going to write this to the whole number before the decimal point or to the left of the decimal point and to the right of the decimal point, I'm going to write here the 5. But remember that the 5 must be in the thousands place value since the denominator is 1000. So the number or the digit in the hundreds place hundreds place must be zero and for the tens it will also be zero. So we have now two and zero zero five or two and five thousands. So for the next number, let's have two and twenty-four over one hundred. So again, if you noticed here that we have a mixed fraction and the whole number here is 2, which we will write before the decimal point. And after the decimal point, we will write the 24. But you have to remember that the 4 must be in the hundreds place value and the 2 will be in the tenths place value. In total, in totality, as a whole, we have to write the 24 after the decimal point. So we will be having it here like this. So this 2 here now, this is a whole number. So we have to write this one before the decimal point. And after the decimal point, we have to write the 24, which the 4 must be in the whole in the hundreds place value and the 2 is in the tens place value. So our answer now will be 2 and 24 hundreds. Now what about if the denominator is not in the base of 10? Like the given in question number 2 and question number 6 of your book. Example, we have here 1 over 2. If you notice here that the denominator is not a 10, it's not a 100, or it's not a 1,000, but it is a 2. So this is not in the base of 10. And another example is 7 over 20, which the denominator is 20. Next is 3 and 4 over 25, which the denominator is 25. And last, the number is 4 and 23 over 500, which your denominator is 500. So if you will notice, all this denominator, the 2, the 20, 25, and 500 is not in the base of 10. But we can write it in the base, into the base of 10. So to find the decimal number of this one, we just have to simply change the denominator into the base of 10 by using the concept of equivalent fraction. So let's have the first example, which is 1 half. So this, one, this is 1 over 2. So your denominator is a 2, but one of the multiples 
of 2 is 10. Because if we're going to have the multiplication table of 2, we have 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6, and 2 fours are 8, and 2 fives are 10. So 10 is one of the multiples of 10. So what we just need to do is to find an equivalent fraction of 1 half which the denominator is 10. So, what number will I multiply to the 2 to have 10? Or meaning 10 divided by 2, and that is 5. So, 2 fives are 10. So, we have to multiply 5 in the numerator and in the denominator. So, we will have now 1 fives are 5 and 2 fives are 10. So, now the equivalent fraction of 1 half is 5 over 10. So, since now the denominator now is in the base of 10, we can now convert this one into decimal. And if you notice, there is no whole number, so your whole number will be 0. So, I will write, we will write 0 before the decimal point, and after the decimal point, we have to write this 5 where in this 5 must be in the tens place value. So, that will be now 0 for the whole number, 0. 0.5 and 5 must be in the tens place value since our denominator is 10. So, our answer is 0. 0.5 or 0 and 5 tenths. So, final answer, 1 half is equal to 0 0.5 or 0 and 5 tenths. Next number, next example, we have 7 over 20. So, again, the denominator is not in the base of 20, but 20 has a multiple of 100. So, what number will I multiply to 20 so to get 100? So, meaning 100 divided by 20, that is 5. 20, 5, 20, 5 is 100. So, we have to multiply 5 in the numerator and in the denominator. So, we will be having 7, 5 is 35 and 20, 5 is 20. Uh, 25 are 100. So, we got now 35 over 100. Now, the denominator is now in the base of 10. So, we can write this now into the decimal. If you notice, there is no whole number here. So, your whole number is 0. So, we write 0 before the decimal point, and after the decimal point, we have to write this numerator, which is 5 must be in the hundredths place value, and 3 must be in the tenths place value. So, we will get now 0 and 35 hundredths, or 0 0.35 as our answer. So, 7 over 20 is equal to 0 and 3500 or 0 0.35. Okay, next number, 3 and 4 over 25. This given is a question in the number 6 of your book, page 66, part A. So, let's have this one now, 3 and 4 over 25. So, if you will notice here, this is a mixed fraction, which means it has a whole number, which is 3, and a proper fraction, which is 4 over 25. So, meaning, in the decimal number, we have to write this 3 into the whole number, and this 4 over 25 will be in the decimal part. But the problem is the denominator of the 25 is not in the base of 10. So we have to find first the equivalent fraction of 4 over 25. Wherein the 25 has a multiple of 100. 
And so what number will I multiply to 25 to get a 100? So that is 25 fours are 100. So we have to multiply 4 on both numerator and denominator. So we will be having 4 fours are 16 and 25 fours are 100. So now our answer will be 3 and 16 over 100. So the denominator now is in the base of 10. And this is a mixed fraction and the, new, the full number here is 3. So we will write this 3 first before the decimal point. And after the decimal point, we have to write this 16, which the 6, the last digit or the end digit of the 16 must fall into the 100. And the 1 will be in the tenth place value. So again, before the decimal point, we have to write here the whole number. And our whole number here is 3. So we have to write here 3. Point. And after the point, we have to write here our numerator, which is the 16. But you have to remember that the 6 must fall into the hundreds place. So 6 now is into the hundreds place and 1 in is, the, is in the tenths place. So our answer now is 3.16 or 3.16 hundreds. Final answer, we have three. the 3 and 4 over 5 is equal to 3 and 16 hundred. And last question or example, 4 and 23 over 500. Again, this is a mixed fraction. So first, we have to find first the equivalent fraction of the 23 over 500. And the 500 has a multiple of 1,000. Because the multiples of 500 is 500, 1,000, 1,500 and so on. So, we will be using the 1,000. What number will I multiply to 500 to get the 1,000? Or meaning, 1,000 divided by 500, that's equivalent to 2. 500, 2 are 1,000. So, we have to multiply 2 in the numerator and also in the denominator. 23 twos are 46 and 500 twos are 1,000. So we have now our answer as 4 and 46 over 1,000. So since this denominator now is in the base of 10, we can now, we can now have this one, we can now write this one into the decimal number, which the 4 here, okay, is your whole number which we will write before the decimal point or to the left of the decimal point and to the right of the decimal point, we have to write the 46. But you have to remember that the 6 must be in the thousands place value and the 4 will be in the hundreds place value. So we have here now, let me have it again. So we have the decimal point here. So before the decimal point or to the left of the decimal point, we have to write here the whole which is the 4. And to the right of the decimal point, we have to write the 6 in the thousands place and the 4 in the hundreds place. So what are we going to write in the tenths place? So we just have to write here 0. So we have now 4. We have now 4.046 or 4 and 46 thousands. So our answer now is 4 and 46 thousand. Okay? That's all for today, guys. Our lesson about converse, converting um fraction to decimal so for your for your homework you have to do the question numbers two four and six on page 66 
or page 62 of your old book, Alathis.